Good evening. Good evening. It was a warm summer day in June of 1980 when my 25 year old mother was killed in an act of domestic violence that involved a gun. She left behind four boys, but her, her parents loved us enough to take us in and raise us as their own. Amen. So we lost a parent that day, but we earned and we gained a family. And for nearly 30 years, I never shared that story. People knew my mother had died, but whenever they asked, I would just simply say, oh, my mother died, that was it. It wasn't until the, the spring of 2016 when Lucy McBath came to Mississippi, I was advocating against a church bill, uh, that would, a gun bill that would allow guns in churches. And as a pastor, week after week, I stand before my congregation, say words of liberation and empowerment to make that day and that weekend in life better. And I didn't think that would, I thought that would be hampered by allowing guns in churches. Unfortunately, I live in Mississippi and they passed it anyway. Um, but I was emboldened to share the story of my mother's death for the first time because of moms. And I got involved mostly because our church, the African Methodist Episcopal Church, was deeply impacted by gun violence in the summer of 2015 when Mother Emanuel Avery Church in Charleston, South Carolina, a young man decided to walk in, sit in, and take the lives of those who were there for the purpose of worship. My friend was the pastor of that church, and I lost a good friend and a brother in the Lord. So I got involved with the work, and while working with moms, Matter of fact, while doing an event with moms regarding domestic violence, on a Wednesday evening in October, laying in my bed, I get a call that my 18-year-old nephew had been shot. And later on that same evening, I would hear the fatal words, he's gone. I'm a part of a group that nobody wants to be a part of. Somebody who is directly impacted by gun violence not once, but twice. And as a pastor, even though I get the chance to minister week after week, I bear the burden of a loss that can never come back. I get excited about the work that I do with every town as a survivor fellow because I know every single time I share the story about my mother and my nephew, someone is being impacted by it. Every time I tell the story, no matter how many times I cry, no matter how many times I sound confident as I'm saying it, I know one thing is true, that the work that I do and the work that we do as survivors of those who've been affected, of those who are volunteering in this gun violence prevention movement, we are changing lives. We have a long way to go, but as I say in my church every Sunday, the work is all divine. I will never give up. I will never tire of sharing my story, but I will never tire of seeing people who have been impacted by gun violence share their story. So though those who think it lightly, because it happens in communities that are mostly people of color, or because it happens to persons who are so distressed that they take their own lives, every life matters. Yes. Every life matters, especially those who have been impacted by gun violence. I thank you for your service, and I thank you for your volunteers. To you, you parents, I can't imagine the pain of what you've experienced. But what I can see and what I am proud of is to see the praise that you have for your children that is carried out in the work that you do and the passion. I had the privilege of being a part of the March for Our Lives tour this past summer, where students from Parkland came to our city in Jackson, Mississippi, and I sat on the panel with them, and I was emboldened by their per their courage, their passion, and their work. And it made me feel good to know that maybe because I'm a little preacher boy, they may not listen to me. <laughs> but these kids have a fire that I may never have, and it's spreading like crazy. Thank you for your service and your passion. 
thank all of you for what you do. And I want to thank Chris and the Every Time Network because it was, it's because of you that we're able to do what we do. You give us the courage to share our stories every day. You give us the means to tell somebody else that an act of gun violence is not just another statistic. It's a real life. Yes, that's Thank right. you. Amen. Amen.